I'm Norman Armstrong. I'm the founder of Free Will North, which is a cycling development charity with a special focus on special needs. Uh, the people of Glasgow are incredibly enthusiastic for physical activity and cycling in particular. Given the opportunity, as you can see here, people are absolutely desperate to participate in physical activity and exercise across the whole spectrum of ability. And we have people here who have not cycled for 40 years. And we have people who have never cycled coming to learn to cycle here. Uh, Free Will North is also a campaigning organisation. We campaign for inclusive and accessible streets. Because one of the things that tends to be neglected in street design is accessibility, especially for disabled needs. We campaign for open plan physical environments accessible to everybody and that's an environment conducive to the development of community. I'm Katie O'Rourke and I work for Free Will North, a charity that's based here at Glasgow Green and we do a lot of work with uh, special needs people and with the community at large. I find that uh, it, it's been very enlightening and um, uh, rewarding for me to watch how enabling this facility has been for a huge range of different people. We have um, people with lots of different conditions. Um, some of them are physical, some of them are psychological, um, some of them are developmental, and uh, we work with a, a range of different uh, charities, carers and individuals um, to, to help them get some physical exercise. Um, and that difference that is uh, made in people's lives, I find absolutely astonishing. We often get feedback from people that um, explains to you um, what a difference it's made in their lives being able to come here and let off that little bit of steam, just get that little extra bit of health in their life, um, meet some new people um, and get some confidence so that perhaps they can take themselves even a little bit further afield. Our cycling centre here on Glasgow Green is open to absolutely everybody six days a week. We're aiming to go seven days a week as soon as possible. But we're open six days a week through the entire summer from 10 till 6. And anyone who wants to participate and enjoy any of our bikes here can just pop in. We're joined now by Norman Armstrong, who organised today's cycle event at Glasgow Green. Now, first of all, Norman, that's actually a, a dedicated bespoke track that yes. you've got on uh -huh. Glasgow Green. Yes. Yes, we've been there for three years. It, the track existed previously, but we thought it was a great opportunity to move in and open a special needs cycling centre there. And why did you decide to try and get more people living with disabilities into cycling? Because people with disabilities are disproportionately affected by exclusion from physical activity. It's very hard for someone with a disability to get around town in a wheelchair or, or just walking. If you go on a bike, you've got an opportunity to break those barriers down. And we saw there, Norman, um, the use of specially adapted bikes. Are these more expensive than They're regular bikes? They're very expensive, bikes? I'm afraid, yes. I think that will change as they become more available, but at the moment they're almost specially made, individually made. So, for instance, some of the bikes you saw on there cost £11,000. 11000 thousand. Yes, that's Isn't a conference it? bike for seven people. That's £11,000 plus VAT plus delivery. Is there anything in place at the moment to sort of schemes to help people buy bikes with disabilities, anything like that? Uh, or is that going to be a cost you're having to take on yourself? Uh, well, I think the best thing to do, yeah, is go through a charity like us and we can help raise money for people to get the use of these bikes. But the best thing to do of all is to come to our centre, not bother buying them at all and just have a go on them. Sounds yeah, that's a phenomenal yeah. amount. And have you noticed an increase in cycling in Glasgow? I think so. I think it requires a bit more scientific research to see that it's really happening. But just Looking around the city, I think there are definitely more cyclists going about. Yeah, well, we've just seen the launch of a new sort of cycle yes. initiative in Glasgow, the new bikes. Do you think schemes like this are good? Do you encourage them? Yes, I think this is a great scheme. The, the, the Boris bike system coming to Glasgow, it just needs to grow. <laughs> and it'd be great if people use them during the Commonwealth Games to get between the venues. We're thinking maybe yeah. Widgie's Wheels. We've got suggestions coming in. What do you think of the name? If we called it Ouija's Wheels. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's okay. No, 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 no. I'll give it some thoughts. Yeah. Come back to us on that one then, Norman. Um, but do you think that the cycle networks that are in Glasgow just now as it stands are, are good enough? Um, we don't really have a network yet. I mean, to call it a network is going too far. Mm. If we, the word network implies a certain amount of joined upness 
it's a joined upness that's missing. We've got a bit here, a bit there. When it's all joined up, then we'll have a network, but it's not anywhere near good enough yet. Mm -hmm. How do you think we can encourage that to happen? Do you think we sort of need to be just making our voice heard that we want to? Or? Yes, I mean, you, you, we've got to get on at politicians. We need political leadership in Glasgow in particular. And we've got uh, Boris in London. And we've got the mayor in Bri of Bristol in Bristol, who's also a member of Sustrans, the cycling development organisation. And he needs someone with real vision and passion to drive this forward in Glasgow. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And obviously with the Games coming, uh, coming to Glasgow yes. in less than a month, um, and Glasgow 2014 organisers yes. were criticised for closing yes. some major routes yes. despite urging people yes. to, to use bikes yeah. and cycle to events. Do you think they've, yeah. they've made it more difficult? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, I think it's a mistake to close the cycle routes during the Games. On the contrary, what they should be doing is using the cycle routes to get the participants and the visitors to Glasgow to use those cycle routes to get on the bikes, including the new bikes, new yeah. higher bikes, to get to the venues. That would be much better than closing routes down. Yeah. Some people might say that they're a wee bit nervous to be cycling on the roads. It's yes. maybe a bit dangerous. Yes. What would your advice to them be? What would you say? I'd say in the first instance, don't go on the roads, because <laughs> it is dangerous out there. In the first instance, what you can do is go in the parks and go to cycling centres, go on a canal towpath or along the river. It's best if you're a novice and you're a bit nervous, don't go uh, on the road straight away and cycle with companions, either on one of their special bikes, companion bikes, more than one person on one bike or in a team. OK. And um, where do you think it's best to get that information of routes to go on or places to kind of start, start out on? Um, there's a council website that mm. shows what cycle routes do exist so far. But I would add a word of caution about using that because in terms of accessibility, and the special needs bikes, many of those paths aren't wide enough to include special needs cycles. Mm -hmm. That's a problem with them. Something you need to definitely consider and look yes. at improving. And quickly, just a word on helmets. Do you think helmets need to, should be worn at all times when no. cycling? You're no. not, not, not at all. The research is very finely balanced as to whether helmets yeah. are any good or not. Okay. And it, it's shown, in fact, research in Australia has shown that yeah. putting a cycling so like a helmet on inhibits the amount yeah. of cycling that happens. Okay. So you're, you're not a fan, but listen, Norman, thank, thank you very you. much for joining no us. And we've got to take a short break right now. But when we